Testosterone replacement therapy. You've probably heard this term used quite a lot in the health and wellness space, or perhaps you're even considering jumping onto TRT. Or maybe you might know someone who's currently on TRT. Well, in today's video, what I'm gonna do is actually outline why TRT can actually be quite dangerous if it's not utilized correctly. And so let's dive into this particular subject. So what is TRT or testosterone replacement therapy? TRT or testosterone replacement therapy is a medical treatment designed to boost testosterone levels in individuals who have low testosterone due to various reasons such as hypogonadism or endocrine disorders. Testosterone is a crucial hormone that affects various aspects of male health, including muscle mass, bone density, red blood cell production, and mood. So what are the most common causes for men being prescribed TRT? Hypogonadism. This is the most common reason for TRT, where the body doesn't produce enough testosterone, age-related testosterone decline. As men age, their testosterone levels naturally decline, and TRT can help alleviate symptoms like fatigue, decreased libido, and loss of muscle strength. Improving sexual function, TRT can help men with erectile dysfunction and other sexual health issues related to low testosterone. Mental health benefits, it can improve mood, energy levels, and sense of well-being. Physical health benefits, TRT is also used to increase muscle strength and prevent bone loss. Now, what are the current concerns about the increasing use of TRT? The primary concern expressed is about the increasing use of testosterone replacement therapy among young men and the associated risks lack of understanding, there is a concern that young men may not fully comprehend the risks associated with TRT, particularly regarding its long-term effects on fertility and the difference between physiological and superphysiological doses. TRT at superphysiological levels may increase risks that aren't present at physiological doses. These include an increase in red blood cell production, erythrocytosis, which can lead to high blood viscosity and potentially other blood disorders. Illegally obtained TRT, when TRT is acquired illegally, it brings additional risks such as potential contamination and the absence of medical oversight. Erythrocytosis TRT, particularly at superphysiological levels, can cause an alarming increase in red blood cell production, erythrocytosis, leading to increased blood viscosity. This can necessitate regular blood donation to manage the condition and poses the question of whether there is a risk of developing polycythemia vera, a condition where the increased production of red blood cells becomes self-sustaining, even if TRT is ceased. Hormonal imbalances, high doses of TRT can lead to significant increases in estrogen and DHT, potentially resulting in side effects that are often treated with additional medications such as 5-alpha reductase inhibitors for hair loss or aromatase inhibitors to prevent gynecomastia, enlargement of male breast tissue. These treatments can have additional problematic side effects, which I've spoken about previously, Reduced fertility, the use of exogenous testosterone can lead to a reduction in endogenous testosterone production, including sperm production, which can result in decreased fertility. Over time, this effect can become difficult to reverse, especially after two years of continuous use, potentially leading to a lifetime dependency on TRT. Impact on young men, young men who use TRT might face significant risks if they decide to have children later on. They may find their fertility is irreversibly impaired. Prolonged use can lead to a lifetime dependency on TRT, especially if started at a young age. Now let's look at a side effect that is actually quite common, and that is the increase in erythropoiesis or red blood cell production. So let's take a look at the possible side effects of TRT. In some studies, there has been an increase in erythropoiesis or red blood cell production observed in testosterone therapy, particularly marked in older adults, which could lead to erythrocytosis, which is having a high concentration of red blood cells. This is commonly treated through donating blood to remove excess red blood cells. Thicker blood through erythrocytosis can lead to the increased risk of blood clots, heart attacks, or strokes. Now, of course, it may not be a side effect if it's within the reference range according to your blood test, but it's usually an issue when we're using very high doses of testosterone that can actually increase the total output of red blood cells and that can increase the blood viscosity. A secondary analysis of a testosterone dose response study revealed that testosterone therapy significantly increases hemoglobin and hematocrit levels, which is essentially what erythrocytosis is in a dose-dependent manner, with these increases being more pronounced in older men aged 60 and 75 compared to younger men. The study, which involved administering varying doses of testosterone and entity, 
from 25 milligrams to 600 milligrams weekly for 20 weeks showed no significant changes in erythropoietin or soluble transferrin receptor or STFR levels that could explain the age-related differences in hematologic response. The results suggest that the more marked erythropoiesis in older men due to testosterone therapy might be influenced by factors other than erythropoietin and STFR. Let's have a look at the adverse effects of testosterone therapy in men. Clinical review one, adverse effects of testosterone therapy in adult men, a systematic review and meta-analysis. A systematic review and meta-analysis were conducted to evaluate the adverse effects of testosterone treatment in men. This extensive review involved analyzing data from 51 studies that varied in quality and spanned durations from three months to three years. The findings indicated that testosterone therapy is linked to a significant increase in hemoglobin and hematocrit levels and a slight decrease in high density lipoprotein, HDL cholesterol. However, the therapy showed no significant effects on mortality rates, prostate outcomes, or cardiovascular events. The clinical significance of the increases in hemoglobin and hematocrit and the decrease in HDL cholesterol remains uncertain due to the low quality of current evidence and the short duration of the studies reviewed. What about the cardiovascular risks of testosterone therapy in men? Testosterone therapy and cardiovascular events among men. A systematic review and meta-analysis of placebo-controlled randomized trials. This study conducted a systematic review and meta-analysis to evaluate the effects of testosterone therapy on cardiovascular events among men. Using randomized placebo-controlled trials that lasted at least 12 weeks and reported cardiovascular-related events, the analysis included 27 trials with 2,994 mainly older men who experienced 180 cardiovascular-related events. The results indicated that testosterone therapy significantly increased the risk of cardiovascular events with an odds ratio OR of 1.54. Interestingly, the risk varied by the source of funding Trials not funded by the pharmaceutical industry showed a higher risk. The study did not find any significant variation in risk based on the baseline testosterone levels of participants. Overall, the findings suggest that testosterone therapy, particularly in trials independent of pharmaceutical industry funding, is associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular events, underscoring the need for cautious use of this therapy in clinical practice. What about the increases in PSA, hemoglobin, and hematocrit? Efficacy and safety of long-acting intramuscular testosterone undecanoate in aging men, a randomized controlled study. Over a 48-week trial period, 120 men were randomized to receive either the testosterone treatment or a placebo. Key health markers such as serum testosterone, PSA levels, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and total bilirubin were closely monitored. Testosterone undercanoate injections significantly increased testosterone levels in men with and were associated with controlled increases in PSA, hemoglobin, and hematocrit, staying within safe clinical limits. Notably, the treatment did not lead to any severe adverse effects that required cessation of therapy, demonstrating its safety and tolerability. Myocardial infarction occurred in three participants across both study arms. Increased PSA, prostate-specific antigen, an increase in PSA levels can indicate an enlargement or inflammation of the prostate gland or potentially more serious conditions such as prostate cancer. While the study noted increases within clinically safe limits, any rise in PSA levels typically warrants careful monitoring to rule out the possibility of prostate disease. This meta-analysis also indicates that TRT is deemed safe for short-term administration regarding risk for prostate cancer, and while there was no statistically significant result for long-term administration, more longer-term data is needed to fully understand the impacts of chronic TRT usage. What about the impact of TRT on sleep disordered breathing in obese men with obstructive sleep apnea? Effects of testosterone therapy on sleep and breathing in obese men with severe obstructive sleep apnea, a randomized placebo-controlled trial, Testosterone therapy can transiently worsen sleep disordered breathing in obese men with severe OSA, indicating that such treatment should be carefully considered and monitored in this patient population, particularly in the short term. An 18-week study aimed to assess the effects of testosterone therapy alongside a weight loss program on obese men with severe obstructive sleep apnea, OSA. Participants were randomized to receive either testosterone injections or a placebo at weeks 0, 6, and 12, while all followed a calorie-restricted diet. The study found that testosterone treatment initially worsened markers of sleep-disordered breathing. 
specifically the Oxygen Desaturation Index, ODI, which measures the severity of oxygen drops during sleep and the percentage of sleep time spent with oxygen saturation below 90%, SpO2T 90%, both significantly deteriorated at seven weeks. However, by 18 weeks, these effects were no longer significantly different from those observed in the placebo group. Now let's have a look at the challenges and considerations in testosterone replacement therapy and steroid use. Understanding and managing the suppression of spermatogenesis caused by testosterone replacement therapy and anabolic androgenic steroids, AAS, TRT adversely affects spermatogenesis. Despite some evidence suggesting natural recovery of spermatogenesis after discontinuing these agents, data are largely observational and indicate that recovery times can vary greatly. In some cases, stopping the drugs may not be enough to restore fertility, and additional hormonal treatments such as selective estrogen, receptor modulators, SERMs, gonadotropin therapy, or assisted reproductive techniques may be required. However, there is a notable lack of rigorous prospective randomized studies evaluating these interventions in this context. So just as a reminder, obviously TRT does have a time and place to be utilized, and I'm a big fan of TRT, under the right conditions and also under the right guidance. But if you're a guy that's looking to maximize testosterone levels as high as possible naturally without the need to go on to TRT and rely upon injecting every single you know week, consider checking out trtfree.com. So this TRT free is not just any program. It's a result of six years of dedicated research, countless self experiments and real world application helping hundreds of men achieve significant results. From increasing muscle mass and energy to improving focus and sexual performance, this course has you covered. You'll learn through the Neuroendocrine Reboot NER method trademark, a novel approach that optimizes your body's hormonal communication pathways to naturally boost testosterone production. Now here are the modules of TRT free. Module one, natural testosterone enhancement 101, learn techniques to optimize hormonal communication pathways and trick your hypothalamus and pituitary gland to perceive a need for more testosterone. Understand and avoid common causes and substances that negatively affect testosterone levels, including certain herbs, teas, and hair loss medications. Discover the best types of underwear for optimal testosterone production and the dangers associated with popular supplements and vaping. Module two, tea boosting nutrition hacks, identify testosterone boosting foods and understand the importance of timing protein intake for testosterone synthesis. Learn about carbohydrate pitfalls and essential fats that boost testosterone. Find out the detrimental cooking materials and storage methods that affect testosterone and explore effective meal planning for boosting hormone levels. Module three, mastering sleep to supercharge testosterone production overnight. Implement 19 strategies for achieving quality sleep to nurture peak testosterone production. Adjust your sleeping environment from room temperature to blocking blue light and EMFs to enhance sleep quality and testosterone levels. Discover foods that promote sleepiness and learn how to track sleep patterns for hormonal health. Module four, train like a beast, avoid common exercises that lower testosterone and learn about effective routines that significantly boost hormone levels. Understand the relationship between daily physical activity and testosterone and optimize your training to include movements that increase DHT. Module five, optimizing your environment. Counteract modern environmental factors that are detrimental to testosterone levels. Leverage natural elements like sunlight and grounding to boost hormonal health. Replace harmful household and tech items with alternatives that support a testosterone friendly environment. Additionally, the course includes four eBooks that further enhance your understanding and application of the principles taught, covering topics from advanced workout techniques to diet optimization for hormonal health. So that pretty much wraps up today's video on testosterone replacement therapy. If you did enjoy the video, please like the video and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. That's it from me today. I'll see you guys in the next video.